J.O.P. and Peso Bluma are dropping on the same day. Dun, dun, dun. And someone commented Hennessy's this Thursday 622 or whatever. Yeah, and J.O.P. commented J.S.S.O. with the emoji like this. And then the emoji with the eyebrow like okay. like what the hell? Bluma got his grills yesterday, the teeth grills, you know. And then uh, he just posted it for the reggaeton song. JLP. JLP <laughs> uploaded this video. Roll the clip. Bitch, I been did that. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Agusto Papa podcast welcome back if you guys are new make sure you subscribe to this channel like comment subscribe listen to us on spotify and apple podcast rate us five stars on there i don't know how it helps us, but it really really it helps us and also listen to the best playlist on spotify para nada gusto we upload it every single week i capped again no we don't upload it every single week but starting today i will i promise jason's in charge of it now if you guys want to go on that playlist make sure to d uh email jason at agushtopapa.com Guys, we're always we're looking put for right new here. music, new talent. And if he doesn't reply, look at Echo at Agusto. <laughs> <laughs> and if he doesn't reply, Ash. Guys, we're, we're looking done. for the next Peso Pluma, the next Fuerza Regi, the next Nata. We are? So send us your music. We could be early. We could be late. Send it in. Yeah, we know what Chinito Pacas before he got famous. Yeah, like exactly. Yes. And okay. what I like to say... Palente que ando <laughs> oh my god, it's an emergency podcast. Hurry up. Palente que anda comiendo, aproveche. Y para la gente que anda tomando, un salud. Salud. Mañana, fodongos. Yes. And also, please, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 300K. We're dropping every single day. We're trying to stay on top. We're number five podca music podcast in the United States. Damn, we're going for number five. three. We're going to top drink three. Yes. And and we're trying to Connie, pass drink champs. They had a Connie. We have this dumbass. Yo tengo este morro. And if you want to run your promo, please hit us up on. Right here. Uh, <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. Okay, like so that. Send your message I like that. Here. Two for two. Okay, so really quick, where is the best place to text to be on here? On Instagram, DM. If we don't get back What's to you, just do it again. What's because that? What's the that? always going there. I wish to about podcast. Remember, like, if, if we don't get back to you, just send a DM again or to one of our personals. We'll get back to you. Yes, luckily, we've like, been selling out of these ad space, so it's very, very popular. Out, like, so, pongan se pilas so that you guys could be on here. And uh, people do get clients off the ads. Just like uh, Rogelio. Jeez, they're Carita gonna give me Rogelio, a bendición. Ay, que bendición. Uh, I love Carnitas. Make sure to hit up Carnitas Rogelio. He's located in Orange County, selling once every two weeks. Carnitas por dollar at 12 yeah. bucks. Tacos, five bucks. Tortas, eight. I saw, the, I saw the DM and I saw the pictures and it looks really good. It's like, I think it's like in someone's backyard. They, they just like, like they know how to make it. he's pulling up this week. Yeah, I'm pulling All up right. this weekend. Like for yeah. real, for real, for real, for real. It's in Garden Grove, what Orange day? County. Guys, just in huh? case. Torta. On the weekend, no, no sé qué día. But look, tacos are five bucks. Oh my god. Guys, goodness. if you guys don't have a panel like this, we can actually create it for you. Cardinita Rogelia send in their logos and a few photos, and we were able to Photoshop this. So just in case you guys don't have the panel, we can make it for you guys. ¿Cuántos tacos de carnita se puedes comer tú? Con un chingo de limón en salsa, le con unos cinco, güey. ¿Tú? I feel like if I, if tengo un chingo de carnita. I'm really hungry, I give you five. No te puedo llevar porque te van a confundir, mi niño. Sí. Al barriga. Oh my god. <laughs> that motherfucker is buff as fuck. Guys, be sure you know, dog fellas, you. Gus underscore dog fellas bully camp. Guys, this if you guys didn't know this guy, he actually has a corrido by Fuerza Regi that's called 100K. And this dog is actually called 100K. Like he was telling me about it. And no, this dog has a corrido, bro. It's That's not the crazy. guy, it's the dog. The dog has a corrido. You got that dog in here, look at yeah. him. That's insane. This dog got a Dude. corrido too. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> like, a dog has a corrido. Like, that's such a freaking fuck. Oh, that's Pelon? Oh, that's Pelon from Forza Rey that he joined in, like, 2020, I think he said, like, the team. The, how much do you think a dog like that costs? Like, Zero almost 30. Anybody comment down below? I have no idea how much. Almost 30K. 30? Yeah. For sure. Almost 40, no? Sure, charge 50. them more. Nah, shit. Oh, I know that people, like, uh, <laughs> se Damn. roban los perros. God. Damn. Damn, imagine really that could be the guard dog for sure. That would look so that looks more aggressive than Jason. <laughs> we should, that would look mean as fuck. We should start breeding Angel. <laughs> oh my god. Crazy. <laughs> Can we have on the podcast and send them right here? Guys, send in your That's ads. Crazy. That's probably like 20k. Oh my god. Send in your ads, guys. All right, That's here we only do two ads because it's a shorter episode. But yeah, as you about? guys can see by the title of this video, emergency episode. That's why we're uploading on a Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, vlog Friday. But as you guys can see by the title of this video, J.O.P. and Peso Bluma are dropping on the same day. 
Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Guys, Peso Bloom have been dropping singles for a pretty long time. A lot of them are super successful, but now it's time. The majority are hits. The majority of them are hits. I feel like he hasn't missed, you know, from a lot but, of... But neither has Fuerza. Neither has Fuerza. Fuerza, Fuerza don't miss. And one, thing, eyes, and one thing that I will say... The is biggest comeback of ever. Best, yeah, for real, you know. Peso Bloom, uh, he takes out singles that are features, that are hits. And, you know, some people are saying, oh, it's the features. Some people are saying, no, it's Peso Pluma. That's why we're here to talk about it. Anyway, I want to get into talking about the album. The song has 14 tracks. It's It's called Hennessy's. Hennessy's 14 tracks. And has collaborations like Jaciel Nunez, Junior H, Eladio, Tito Doble P, that's That's his his composer. composer. Uh, BBS is on there. Edgardo oh, Nunez and oh. Los Dareyes. Luis R. Conriquez. Gavito. Yep. Guys, that's about it. Yeah, <laughs> there is beef between Peso and GOP. We don't know exactly like why. If you guys don't know, well, I mean, we kind of give you guys an explanation. Click up here. If you don't know, we drop a you podcast know. about it. We've been knowing like some stuff been weird. Haven't been dreaming. <laughs> have been sleeping good. Have, have, y- have y'all seen the movie? Sorry, we ain't off topic. Have you seen the movie? Um, please get up on topic. <laughs> I'm asking uh, with you, bro. The fucking verga ya se me repasó. Oh my god, I did, dude. dude. <laughs> NWA. NWA. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Compton the looks like Snoop Dogg right now. A Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Bet. Um, Bet. <laughs> Yo, I'm Snoop Dogg. You stopped the whole. <laughs> Dude, yeah. oh no, my God. Snoop before the hit. Inga Woo. <laughs> Inga Woo. The Snoop Dogg Chihuahua. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, there's been stuff going on between them. We don't know exactly why, but there is beef. Like, uh, Peso Luma has been scheduling his album for a while already. And then GOP had this single called Sabor Fresa. It's a fucking banger. It's a certified banger. And he banger. decided to drop it on the same day as Peso Pluma. With Chachetas. I think it was on purpose. But let me know in the comments if you guys think it was on purpose or just whatever, you know. And uh, he previewed it. He announced the date on his Instagram story. I think it was yesterday with a little video and everything. And someone commented Hennessy's... Uh, this Thursday, 622 or whatever. Yeah, and JOP commented on... What did he comment? Que es eso, right? Que es eso with the emoji like this. And then the emoji with the eyebrow like... Like, like what the hell? Like, like, boy, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is it? But like I said, I think they don't like each other. I think there's definitely something going on. Okay, so... That's crazy. You know, the two big biggest artists in Musica Mexicana. Did y'all, see the, did y'all see this beef coming or no? Hell I no. I personally know. Zero. Like, I feel I like, like it would have been like thing like this. If someone to were to beef with Peso, who did you think it was going to be? Let me think about it. Bro, Neta, I didn't expect beef to be... This even, quick, huh? No, like, even happened. Like, the genre blew up because everybody was doing collabs together. Mm-hmm. Like, no one became beef. But I felt like... No one became beef. Pero <laughs> Rogelio. <laughs> but si quieren carnitas, el Rogelio. You want beef? Nah, I, I, feel, I, I feel like it just happened because, like... You know, he blew up within like a year. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was like, fast. It like, was, no only tempo de to be exponential. And like, exponential some people fell off because of him, you know? Like, yeah. And I feel like uh, um, Peso Pluma is the reason why Musica Mexicana is way bigger. Yes, and 100%. And I think he's 100% the one. 100% he's the reason. 100%. I think he, it is the reason. Well, I mean, like, and if I think you AL, take it back, you know, to stuff. No, like, you know what? Okay, I don't. Okay, I, I, okay. He was reaching no, miles. He go, was reaching from Spotify's words, reaching milestones that no other artist has reached. reached. Like, for let's say Spotify listeners, monthly listeners, no one has reached 30,000. 30 million. Uh-huh, 30. Mm-hmm. He reached 30 million. He's currently, like, at 50 something. Ain't no way. Within months. Bro, like he Pro- just gets 10 million. Production, like at the moment of this recording, could you guys pull how many there is? Because here like it is. Hey, you know? and Dude, <laughs> production. God damn it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> and you're like, oh. When I remember the production. Yeah, Pistol Blue Man's birthday went out that long ago and they put all his achievements. Dude, it's a fucking shitload in such like a short amount of time. It's crazy. It's at 53 bro. million. Jesus Christ. What is like the. N- oh, can you check how What's much Forza Regida has, please? Forza Regida has. Okay, but what he finds that. I, I what just, do you guys think is a reason that JOP decided to drop his certified hit on the same day as crazy. the album? Crazy. I think, Why? like, he probably, I mean, this is obviously beef, and I think also that I noticed in the comments, like, a lot of people, the majority of the people are choosing Forza side. So I feel, I feel like he was, like, oh, like, pretty confident that, like, 
he could get the number one spot. Well, didn't didn't he when he dropped uh Toko, Teko Eme, he even like did the shots when it, it reached um He did the shots? No, like he shot shots at Peso. How? He posted something on his story. Uh did I screenshot it? No, I didn't. But he posted something saying, um, Oh, I could do it too or some shit like that. There was the same day he started fighting with um like throwing the shots at him. No, they started before the song <laughs> dropped. I think I know what you're talking about. The, the, he posted the chart, right? Yeah. Oh, but I think that was Armento. And the chart was right. They they reached number one. Yeah, it was a, it, that Kwame reached number one in Mexico. Yeah. Can you tell me how many Spotify listeners? Did it reach number one world? Okay, okay, let's guess. Let's guess. Of course, it's less, right? Significantly less. Okay. Okay. So okay. okay. Peso, it's, but, Labon, but, it's Labon's at 31. 23. For context. Eslabon couldn't hit 10 really before cool. Ella Baila Sola. How many? Really? No, they yeah. couldn't. Remember, they're like, oh, we'll drop it at 10. And they never hit it. Damn, so Ella Baila Sola No, they did hit it. No, no, no. Oh, the, oh, okay, the song dropped, but they yeah. couldn't get... Shh, that's insane. I think, uh, think Forza's at 30. 30. Okay, no, say, so I'm going to say... 32. He's, they're not even at half. 27. Oh, not even at half. 24 million. What? That's crazy. Yeah, and, and I feel like the reason why uh, Peso Pluma's monthly listeners are so high is because Ella Baila Sola. That song is literally like, like worldwide, 20 worldwide. 20 million then. It's insane. Yeah. It's yeah. Baila Sola oh. if Eslabon couldn't reach 10 and now they're at 30, 20. So like, let's subtract 20. Still? Do you what still? 30? 30? 30-ish. He's yeah. at oh, and then 51? also, I saw a video. Uh, 53 million. He's at... What's 33 minus 20? 33 ah. Wait, we don't, we don't actually know if the math is like oh, yeah, that, but assuming. this is just assuming, you know, it would be yeah. interesting to oh, know million? how <laughs> the monthly listener works, but That's a lot. Yeah. no Musica Mexicana artist has ever reached 53 Those. million. Not for Spotify real. And like monthly listeners. And like the, other, like the reach that he has right now, it's insane because like the other day I went to the Swami and you know how like sometimes they be playing music a lo puestos and stuff. And not going to cap. That's what it was like amazing to me because out of like the five puestos had music. Three of them were Peso Pluma songs. Cuando pasé. But look, why? That's why, insane. Why are they saying that? that? A okay, for some. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> like, like, it's like people, like the real music people are listening to. Yeah, we're gonna so, take like, some examples. Like, why? Because reading the comments and they're saying like, oh, I didn't hear um, Peso Pluma until Igualito Me Pa, right? Oh, because a lot of people are saying that too. Yeah, but why aren't the the numbers the same? You know, like, obviously, if you heard them from there, why is it first has numbers higher? Than I mean, the, they help catapult him yeah okay now the question you know going off of what you said do you guys think let me rephrase it do you guys think fuerza regida helped peso pluma 100 percent. i don't know well, i heard, the, i feel like i feel like yeah he was already doing big stuff but, but he this didn't. song this song just added more fan base to him do you think he'd be at the spot he is right now without fuerza regida yes 100 percent Hundred million. <laughs> Damn, I think so. Yeah. But Forza did help him, of course. Forza, like that Forza was my favorite song at the moment. For mo oh, yeah. yeah, and it is a badass song. You know? Well, I feel like Forza was just the last touch. But Forza was already making noise. Like, oh yeah, they were already that, doing like, like fucking Chiu their own shit. They're crazy. I'm, yeah, you know? and well, I feel like, like a yeah, they're making noise and they're on top in the regional. But Peso, he's no, no. I feel like both. I feel like uh, Forza Regida like is old credit because they've been doing it consistently for four years. Yeah. And I feel like they only they only had one slight little fall off, but mm -hmm. literally after picked that, it, they picked it up and they still managed to like yeah. be mainstream and have hits. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I felt like their worst the worst time of their career was during COVID. Oh yeah, that, like you know they fell off, and then you know they probably they stopped dropping for like a while, and then I felt I feel like they finally like they talked about it. They're like we like, you know yeah because I think no composers in, an interview, and shit. in an interview GOP said that. He was actually gonna go solista. I don't know what interview. I just no. Well, he even announced it. Well, he said he had he had issues with the team. No, it was yeah. it was Fuerza Regida, and then it was gonna be JOP like on his own because he did that rap song. Oh yeah, that's when he came out with the grills. You know, the Viento that's one. one? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I think it was a different no, one. No, he came out with grills and everything in a in a rap video. I think they did an announcement like in front of the Black Tesla. No, yeah, something like that. Yeah, at his parents' house. Mm. Yeah, because I even remember a story from like Chris that he posted and he was like, Oh, ahorita está pegando otro género, but like just wait on it, we're going to come back. Something along those yeah. lines. And That's got, crazy. Got composers and so then you yeah. see Fuerza Regida has the experience of like being up here, Maintain. coming back down, coming down and being able to get back on top. 
Peso Pluma hasn't gone through that experience yet. Okay, who is the best artist at the moment? Junior. <laughs> <laughs> Not favorite. The best. The well, best, actually, best you know, one? I, it's because on the other hand, like, the mean, junior age, like, I'm a, I'm a fucking unstoppable. Oh, my God. That's crazy, huh? It's just so weird how to measure it because, obviously, yeah. numbers. Well, I feel like in terms of numbers, it's Peso. No, yeah, yeah. No, no, definitely. And but just, yeah. But... Oh, well, fuck! It's cause it's hard to tell. Cause What's it, like, mean, numbers peso, don't lie. Peso, you know, peso's numbers coming, don't lie. Peso's coming off like a super crazy number one hit song in the world. Mm-hmm. Like that's a classic. Like people are gonna be listening to that. Like cleaning this shit in fifty years. But he years. just doesn't have the number one. You know, he has number two. He has number four. He has number seven. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Now a question for you guys. So this was, as he said, exponential growth. We know that exponential growth is not sustainable. You know, like you can only get so high up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What um, comes up must come down, type of thing, right? Maybe. Oh, okay, por la longa de casa abajo. Hey, mi niño. Hey, y'all y going one. up and up, and me and Jason going down. And down. How long do you guys think Peso Pluma is going to stay in this crazy high level that he's at right now? Uh, I think maybe a year. Net that way? The nah, way, six months. The way? No. Nah, so. Fuck no. I think he's gonna going, be up there five years, six. Yeah. Like I get, I give him at least another three give years. Him six months, bro. Oh, like, <laughs> that's crazy. Because you're saying like he's gonna be at the top, top, top. No, okay, okay, no, like no, no. Top, let's top, let's rephrase. You're it. saying exponen- he's though, like, exponential. You know, like when I'm talking exponential is like I'm saying like another twenty million. Oh no 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 no. no. So I said like, the growth was exponential. Okay. So, you know, he's he just went straight up to the top. Let's say he's at fifty. 50, 53, right? Yeah, he's at 53. How long <laughs> do you think do you think he's going to get to 60 or do you think he's going to go back to like 40 something? I think he's going to cap at like Okay, and then for 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 like context, 70. Taylor Swift is on tour right now. She's the biggest thing this world has ever biggest seen artist. and she's at 83. I think Peso will get to 70. I think he'll I was going to say with that. the he's album? Gonna, he's going to cap at 70 million. That's crazy. Bro, if Everyone want to work with the him. the song the song que iba a salir el fucking Junior H and Gabito uh-huh. and oh, yeah. okay. dude dun, dun. that sounds going crazy dun, dun, on TikTok dun, dun. and it's just like not even a preview you don't hear the fucking words it's just a sound yeah uh-huh. Chachito was really imagine smart. Chachito was really smart with making that a sound yeah. wait I have a question for you guys so GOP is gonna drop a single Peso's gonna drop an album from the entire album do you guys think one of these songs will be Fuerzas, like number one. Which one's gonna go number one? Fuck. Like there's Look, a variety for peso and who, who are the, has this banger ready to drop. Look, I think. Watch. Sorry, Keiko. Go ahead. I'm gonna go. Yeah. So I think that comparing a single versus an album is super like hard. It just, it's, it's super hard because look, you're giving the probability of peso plumas one song to go number one is fourteen. And obviously, Fuerzas is just one. So it's Word a 14 to one. There's 14 opportunities yeah, to go yeah. number one. And then, obviously, if you don't like Fuerzas songs, then he's done for, mm-hmm. like, the audience. So, so the ratio in between both of us. Yeah, exactly. The, the no, ratio is way higher than... Yeah, than, so you should have just said at the beginning of the podcast. We were running all right, let's wrap it up. So you think that would be the excuse if Peso wins? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Damn, they should have Damn. Both. They should have just dropped the fucking single at the same time. Well, I, I, I really want to know who who's the fucking. I don't know. Maybe maybe Fuerza has I mean, so much. The goats, I, I feel like Fuerza has so much. That would be badass if they that, actually dropped. It's like hey, you know, se ponen pilas. It's like uh, thirty days from today, come up with your best song. We we'll drop on the same day. Oh, do you guys remember who was it? Not battle, nigga. Yeah. No, it was. 50, <laughs> it was. It was. I got you. It was Kanye West and Fifty, and 50 Cent, and they're like, we're gonna drop. Uh, was it an album or a single? It was an album, and whoever 50, went higher. And Fifty Cent, if you beat me in sales, I'll retire. And a Kanye White, like, Q1? Se lo paso por. Se lo paso por. Ya saben retire? por dónde. Well, no, but obviously, I think it's just for marketing. Could we do that? Like, could we, like, reach out to both teams? And they're not going to. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey, dude, it's dude. marketing. No, it's yeah, marketing. but they're not those even. Those don't even want to come on the podcast, bro. <laughs> You're crazy, bro. Oh, like, shit, can't go back. Let's, let's de, risk it. Para que se desquiten, and, you know? Like, all right, you know what? Y'all don't want, both don't want to come on the podcast, but. <laughs> Make this happen. <laughs> <laughs> they they made up and they fucking dropped their best. I song. feel like they. Well, Peso has been down. Like he he actually texted us and shit like that. But like he's actually. Well, I mean they're both super busy. But I don't think GOP wants to come on the podcast. To be honest, can you tell me what? Hey Toro, We're you said really. we locked in, so. I know. I I don't think he wants to come on the podcast. He would already came on, don't you think? 
every time we see him, pa, it's because I want to come out when I got something good. Yeah. You got something good right now? Come on. For yeah, real. The, Where you I at? Thought he was Where you at? that? To announce the BMO Stadium. But uh, I really don't think he'll, he'll, he'll come on. Maybe for the next album? Hey, but what about, it? you know how a lot of songs, when they get previewed, the the songs don't sound the, like the same? Con, uh, fuck, Subete al Carro by Slavo. What is it? <laughs> fuck, Un Beso? I think. Subete, Subete al Carro is the song. Subete al Carro. That's the song that got previewed and went like absolutely viral, too. There, there was one song that like they previewed, and then when the song came out, it wasn't like the same. It wasn't like. The Slavo one? Yeah. No, it's because like, the, the issue with that stuff is that usually when they do a little preview, like it's like a raw fire or whatever you call it, like it's not the exact same thing or it's and, or it's maybe like a cool thing or algo así. And then also like people listen to it so much on TikTok that by the time it comes out, like people are like over it. That's that's the issue with that. Damn. So you guys were... Cause Wait, this, what about that? What about that though? Like what about if that happens to like first thing, you know, like... That's they, the thing about previewing some music, huh? That, yeah. Sometimes they like VVS, VVS is probably not going to hit the same, you know. And like, watch it hit. Watch it hit. I don't know. It's yes. already out. It's already I feel out. like it's already burned out low key. Like I'd be bumping like that it's shit. Like it's your balls, bro. No, uh, my thigh, bro. <laughs> no, if they would have dropped VVS <laughs> like three days after they did that little video of the preview, good. it would have been game over. They would have monetized. Stupid, he, he was smart when he did that live. And we're not, we're all at, we're fucking texting the group chat. We're like, oh, uh, first I was going live at seven. I know. Ooh, I was at dinner for with my phone, like, oh my like this, the fucking screen recording. I feel like, okay, check this out. Because I feel like whatever they're doing has us on our fucking toes. Like, what if it's all marketing? Well, yeah, full look at this fucking 11 p.m. Talking about <laughs> That's crazy. We got us on our toes, bro. No on, on, on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. I'm, oh, my I'm, God. I'm, I'm, I'm on like the edge on a Wednesday. Guys, I want to. I want you guys to let me know in the let us know in the comments. How did you guys discover Peso Pluma? I, was it because of TikTok? Was it because Igualito Me Apa? Um, let yeah, us know. That's what I want to know. Do you, you guys did you hear about yeah, Peso yeah. Pluma? You think yeah. that's how Legado felt when they did the future with First Arajida? Which which one? The um Cape 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 Commando? No, which one is it? Champion? Yeah. Yeah, you're talking prehistoric. Oh, sigo, sigo champ- <laughs> okay, sigo, sigo no, that's that's they're by themselves. It's um Cape Cape Commando, no? Yeah, that one and then there's another one where it's That's crazy. You got a PhD in this stuff. Dude, what's the other song? Like, no, but you, no, but not you. You didn't remember the song. <laughs> no, I said fuck. Hey, but what, <laughs> what about what about the what point? At least yeah. finish up the point. Hurry up because we're running out of time. Like you think <laughs> that, that feature no because there's a there's a lot of comparison no i don't want to pressure you know but there's always that one group that they gotta do a feature with in order like to blow up you know that's how I feel all labels do that but then at the same time you can't always like because do now, a feature to blow up now yeah like i feel like that's what a lot of labels like do. i don't did a feature with Forza so they could blow up yeah they obviously they're gonna need someone to fucking you know help them out get their fans to become their fans and then they do that with they do that with the de patrones like I feel like that's what a lot of big labels do. They get their biggest artists to do a future with the newer artists, and then they feel so they can they bring build them. Because because I I know uh oh, like are you talking did, about like when like they switch oh, leaders, like everyone hopped on. No, you go, yeah. okay, no. But if you listen to the old Peso Pluma songs, like how you said earlier, like yeah. like the songs are already bangers. Like Dude, más la gente no las escuchaba. Oh like, but like you go back to listen to the first album, la like like this is crazy, bro. Like, Dude, all those like cause. I, I was actually like trying. Oh, but we have but honestly, we have to like really wrap it up. Not sorry to cut you off, but not wrap it up. A break. Do we, oh, oh, but either way, like, cause I don't know if I don't want the cameras to like stop recording. All right, guys, we'll be we'll back. We'll just do a quick break. Quick, 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 quick. Hold the thought though. Don't forget. Don't forget. Hold that. Thought. All right, guys, we are back Hold you on the from break. the break. Oh. Y también quería mencionar que oh, never mind. Se suscriban. Yes, to subscribe. Please subscribe. Like, subscribe. My life literally depends on the subscribe. No cuesta nada. Our life Help us out. On your I'm on the edge on a Wednesday talking about Musica Mexicana. We eat, sleep, and breathe this. Please <laughs> subscribe. And if you're watching it up to this point, you are too. So yes, we've been it's here meant to be, please. The morning, guys. We've been here since freaking tired morning. editing, working our merch. Todo, freaking white I feel like the worst days is when we go to LA. Oh, we come in here, edit God, literally dude. from... No, it's because when we go to LA and we come back, like, oh, you come back there, bro. Yeah. Like, oh. we need a little nap. Yes, pero somos todo menos lazy. Pero so please, help us out and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So, where do we leave off? We left oh. up at the point where every every song in every genre that Peso Pluma have been in, Dembo, Correo. Musica Mexicana, <laughs> Correo Tumbados, Reggaeton, Reggaeton, everything, 
he has made it at least to the top charts and at made least? some noise made some noise with they all went at they least all they went all made some the, noise in the yeah. 100 billboard and and jop has tried you know he got into rap no le sirvió he went into reggaeton mm, tampoco. did he go into reggaeton oh just a quick question i mean he did, it, he did i know it. he's he's had he's tried is huh? there one song that's made noise outside of the regional mexicano the cumbia regida the cumbia that's regional mexicano dumbass <laughs> Which one? That's the... La bebe. Amiga. La bebe. That's... that's Maybe y'all should have subscribed. Bebe, dame. Bebe, dame. Oh, dame, bebe. Oh, whatever. okay. Okay. That's I mean, not regional? Yeah, well, I, I regional. messed up. Because oh. it was outside of the corrido. But I was saying, 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 Yeah, and I, I feel know. like... I think that was... But that's not really his focus. I think it was yours. And I feel like... uh, Peso Pluma has got more... Recognition. More more recognition from artists outside of the genre and more people want to collaborate with him outside of the genre. For example, Eladio. Anuel. Anuel. Um, Marshmallow. Becky. That one's Becky. The song with Marshmallow, I wish they never got um, mad at each other. Uh, what is the other guy's name? Though? That's a scary movie. That's a scary movie. El Alfa. El Alfa. Yeah, watch it be like all fucking promo for the song with Marshmallow. Nah. Nah, this... this, this oh, another thing we wanted to mention too. Let's uh, be legit. Peso Pluma got his grills yesterday, the teeth grills, you know? And then uh, he just posted it. For the reggaeton song. For the reggaeton song that he's dropping with? No sé. Uh, oh, Ryan, oh. Ryan Castro. Ryan, Ryan Castro. Castro. <laughs> he like, you know, got <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I left him hanging, bro. Yeah, he posted his grills. And literally yeah. the day after, which is today, Peso Pluma, I mean, uh, Fuerza Regida. GOP. GOP <laughs> uploaded this video. Roll the clip. Bitch, I been did that. <laughs> Production. What have you? You want to see it? It's the one where he's saying like, "Ben did that." Blah 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 blah. Ben did that. Ah! So he just put on his grills just to show to the world yeah. that he did it first. And the musica musica mexicana, I honestly don't know who did it first. Okay, and Not then that. when we Ovi? had, when it was the little beef between Peso Pluma and Eslabon, we said that, I think we said right that it wasn't like good for them to be beefing it. Do you think in this case it's the beef is helping them? Yeah, I've, because it's two of the biggest artists in Musica Mexicana. But and it's not like Peso Pluma's beefing with like someone that's like not worth it. Like damn. the beef is worth it, you know? But it's not global way. Okay, I feel oh, it no, better no, be no, a good okay. point, boy. I feel like I feel I like we okay, literally okay, stopped okay, them okay. first. Okay, this is this is crazy. This is crazy. You know how they say another Mexican's worst enemy is another Mexican? We reached the top of the it world and we're fucking fighting each other. At the top, huh? At the top. That's fucking crazy. Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all of that Damn, shit. Damn, bro. Like, like, You're not that serious, bro. That sucks. That's true. That sucks. But what do you where do you do you guys think they could have got like to like literally the top together? Yeah. You know, like uh, like I mean he's already in the top five, right? In the world. But you think if they would have kept working together, like, you know, maybe... They could have made more hits, definitely. Worldwide hits. World. Maybe they could have made another uh, song that's the caliper of Ella Bala Sola. No, because they're going to sell like fucking Becky G. They're going to get hated on. Oh, song. no, no, but they're not no, saying, saying like, like, the, like the, the copyright. The, the, the measurement, the, the height of it. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, dude. That, that song's going to be Mexicano, going no? on like 30 years later. Puro, puro pinche problem. Yep. <laughs> so you think So before we what's gonna be the next question? Guys, we can cut this off. No no no. It's crazy. Guys, let us know in the comments what you guys think. <laughs> We're gonna read the oh, comments. Oh, you have to leave, no? Oh, it's kidding. Keiko has to leave, but yeah. this is the end of the episode. If you guys have any last comments, make sure to something you wanna out. say, like what we say on the when the artists come. Anything you wanna say to the to the people? To, to peso, say something to peso on fuerza. What's the creative process? <laughs> <laughs> what is the creative process? That's crazy. What if they were right here, like you know, peso here and then peso fuerza right here? Damn, that'd be hey, crazy. What's the first question? Okay, okay, come on. Let's just pretend. Let's just pretend. All right, but okay, let's see if you guys are watching this. Let us know if you, if you like the questions. Se jalan. Okay, okay peso's right on here. The spot. Go. Right there. Okay, cool. Ah, just kidding. En inicio de tu carrera de and we're going to rate a song. Okay. En el inicio de tu carrera de música, ¿ustedes siempre pensaba que iba a tener tan éxito que tiene ahorita? 
I understand you. I got oh, some ugly ass I get what Spanish, bro. I got a five. You could have said English, bro. They will speak oh. English. <laughs> <laughs> my boy is struggling. Oh, my God. All right. It was good. It was good. Best on you, Peter, right there. What are you going to ask them? My soul. <laughs> I would ask them if they're fans of each other. And if they influence each other. <laughs> and if they see each other as competition. Yeah. How, well, how I'll say, I'll funny? See. <laughs> I don't know. That was a good question. Why the fuck are you laughing at him? I don't know. It was funny. You're a hater. It was, it was just complete silence. I'm like, someone say something. <laughs> well, yeah. we're waiting for Jiro to answer, but he's not here. I'm oh. waiting for a fucking <laughs> Peso Pluma to reply. <laughs> hey, compa. Yeah. yeah. Who, do you guys, who do you guys think will be on the podcast first? Peso. Well, yo no sé, pero when JOP comes on, I want to ask him how... He's, you know, he started, he was literally the opener for Smoke Me Out. He made it all the way to the top. He was a, the clo the headliner for Smoke Me Out. Then I want to ask him when he was on the top, what happened that like brought him back down? And when he was at the bottom, what was going through his head? And how did he manage to get back on top? <laughs> Yo, Jesus Christ. Like, I want to know that, bro. Question. <laughs> I don't even want to ask shit no more. You're going to be Ask like, your what's bitch? your favorite color? Bro, because, like, what's your it's favorite it's color? <laughs> it's because the thing is that, like, all these people that get like, access to him, that ask him these questions, it's like some cookie-cutter questions. Like, they don't eat, sleep, and breathe this. Like, I want to know when he was, like, you know, down bad, you know, like, he was at the bottom, you the know, he had all this success, and he comes over here. Like, what did he do to, like, get back up? Like, That's what a lot happened? Of, a lot of pressure. Huh? Like, what did he surround? Like, what did he change? His team. That's when he brought in walks, everyone else. No, Walkman yeah. is manager for forever. Well, but, but I think he brought in the writers. Walks was a filmer for Diego Milan. No, but think about it too. The fucking Street Mob team is crazy. Like, it's actually like... Hey, and and also like, another, dude, I don't think Street Mob will ever be bigger than Rancho. Okay, ahí les va. that's what I was yes. going to say. From all these, that's crazy. This, these artists that made it big and they all made their labels, I think that Street Mob is the only one that is like... Hitting. Profitable. And it's like... They got a good artist. They have... It's uh, hype. Calle 24, like, people want to sign to it. Chuy Montana... They got um, just Angel like Urieta, Chino, Chino, Chino Paca, just Chino Paca Angel Tumbado. Angel Tumbado. I feel like they have a, a lot of Dude, good JLP signed under fucking Street Mob 2. The way they oh, do yeah. their shit is just like so modern. Like let's just say the, like they're in touch. the yacht thing. That was Every other genius. artist has like these press conferences and it's just like a, like 20 people. Boring. I don't know where these videos <laughs> I don't know where these videos go to be honest. Like we've been to a lot of them and I'm just like damn like everyone's recording but like I have never seen a press conference you know. Besides, like, Larry Hernandez, but, you know. Guys, that's why our video, our YouTube vlog came out late. It's because we had part of Teku M in it. And we just didn't want to release it until the song came out. And Brandon yep. took long, too. <laughs> yeah, but it was <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Brandon. Brandon. Oh, but what yeah. did that did? Yeah, tell him, like, they this were is like, a moment of genius. They were like, all right, you know, instead of having all these people, let's get influencers, a bunch of influencers, people who are hitting on TikTok, hit them up to come and just, like, have a drink or whatever. And, like, they're going to record it. Let's get Lalo, Wilito. Like, dude, they were fucking smart. They bro. were playing chess. Like, I was just like, what the they fuck? They were playing chess. Everybody else was playing checkers. And then if you, and everyone recorded that shit. Like, on TikTok, yeah. like, for the next two weeks, like, it was just all <laughs> from like, yacht. Everybody was at the the yacht. Everybody and their mama was at the yacht. Shit they like were that. recording the press conference. Not only that, like, <laughs> the way they promote their tours, their albums, like, They'll go on this big ass buzz, do a meet and greet, do a free performance on top of like the liquor. Like no one does that. They'll I go mean, the Melos just did that last. They'll time. go to the border and they'll sign somebody. That's it's fucking genius. Like Pat Bunny did that. Like they're always thinking yep. content. Yeah, because content is king right now. Like literally, the it's di it's all we're digital. And I, just, and I just feel like uh, like let's just say Rancho Mila. Like there's just too many artists that they just can't focus like on like the marketing of like. And then I wanna when Jimmy <laughs> comes when Jimmy comes on, I'm gonna ask him like, hey, like why is there that you guys sign an artist, he drops one song, and I never hear about him again. Like, what's going on with the artists? Are they active? Like, did they quit? What will happen Because right I feel there? like the... Victor, he hasn't dropped shit. No, he's yeah. dropped stuff. It just hasn't hit. Oh, really? Because yeah. I feel like he put himself... Jesse Morales? Okay, but like, let's say like that one guy with that song that you like, the... What is it? Oh, La Pandemia? No, no, with that one song that's like... That you were singing in Hawaii. Oh, wait, wait. That's like, oh, Las Morritas, de ahora si me hablan, or something like oh, that. Oh, vi... Uh, Saludo, man, morrita. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that guy, like... He's, when I be, uh, he's still dropping. It's just yeah, but you, yeah? Hear it, you don't hear it. Nah. Because it doesn't hit. Because I feel like the way Rancho Mila works is that, like, you get your opportunity, and their way of marketing is just like you, YouTube and Instagram platform. Yeah. Well, it's because also, like, Jimmy said, like, okay, oh, he gives them a chance, but he only gives them one chance. Yeah, you give yeah. them one chance in Rancho. Like, Jason? It's like in a soccer team, you're benched, now you got to earn your spot as a starter. That was a one of a kind deal. But, right? like, let's just say with uh, 
the street mob, you know, like JOP's like always coming up with. No, shit. I'll give them their flowers Dude. right there. Like, and everybody, like JLP uh, and the whole. I know it's, it's not just JLP, but the whole yeah, team. Yeah, the whole team. Yeah. Like, props. Like y'all, y'all, y'all got street mob like up there. And everybody that they have like makes noise. It's not like, oh, he drops in and nothing, you know. Like Kai Twenty Four fucking came out with that big hit, like Familia. Oh uh, yeah, that was sick. The big hit. They even did a duet with fucking Luis R and JLP. Chinito Pacas like. Chinito Pacas yeah, made noise. Angel Tumbado <laughs> make noise. Like, bro, everybody that he has is just fucking full of creativity. And oh, yeah. I feel like they're all writers, like by heart too. Like, I like just everybody like writes. Together. Oh yeah, and then since they like live together, like okay. I remember Armenta told us, like they just like get together and like yeah. Oh, you know, like, like it's finished yeah. the song together. Like it's like a team. And it's like, like oh, no sé qué ponerle. It's like oh, pues a ver qué okay, morro. It gives me the vibes of when they had the penthouse back when, like they made the song uh -huh. like this fruto lo malo and stuff like that. Like you know you had. It's not like all oh, you had in one room, not then the other room you had Junior, E, and not through Obi. Like, like, bro, like they were all like crashing on the couch type of thing. They're like, oh, well, let's go live. And, and that's where magic happened. That's, that's what magic. That's crazy. that's the formula right there. Damn, yep. Man. Yeah, so shout out to them for that. <laughs> all right, wrap it up. Wrap, wrap it up. Before you tap it. Don't forget, if you guys are interested in advertising on our podcast and our mini billboard, hit us up. Mini it's billboard like, on really really Instagram. I wish about podcast. Price I, is going to go up soon, too. So. Pipilas. Guys, and as well, you guys keep coming down. What's our email? Uh, I don't know it, but it's on our Instagram. Just click the little email and turn on your music there. And for a chance to come on the playlist. Guys, actually, my email is going to be on there. So send it to that email and I'll be checking out the music to see who could be on that playlist. I really want to look Good for luck the next. With that one, buddy. Yeah. I, I, don't I, I really, I'm really looking for the next. The next JLP, Peso Pluma. Email, you have a higher chance like that. That's right, guys. No, not Jason. Me and Angel. Yes, thank you, guys. <laughs> Bro, we appreciate you every single here. person that comments, that Morka, watches to the end. Like, it, yeah, it, it, I don't know. I just feel grateful. Comment, end of the video club. End of the video club. All right, bye, guys. I gotta go pick Somebody up Somebody from sister. the end of the video club, le vamos a mandar algo. La, I know. No sé qué le vamos a mandar, pero algo. algo We're gonna send him un saludo. something Ooh. from the new drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Care package. So Local, comment, yeah. end of video club, and then we're gonna just choose someone. And we have a merch drop coming soon, but we're also having a hat. We're taking out 50 hats, collaboration with Dandy Hats. They're super sick. Y'all heard and it we're here not first selling in the video club. Bro. We're not selling these. We're just going to give them to, like, friends and family. Exclusive. So we'll get one. And since y'all done the video club, y'all family. Nah, so. two, two of y'all. Yeah. Two hats. Two hats. Uh, comment into the video club. I better not see it on the Comment, YouTube. Diego, you don't have legs. Fuck, dude. I need comment. Comment. Legs, bro. Comment, Keko, you're the best dress out of your whole friend group. Please, someone, please comment. Jason, limpiate. Así nomás. Jason, comment, limpiate. Jason, look like Snoop Dogg. Hey, cut that part out, yeah? What, what? part? What? <laughs> you just realized oh, yeah. how awkward no. it was. No. Okay, I'm pues. Like, bad. Goodbye, guys. Thank you, guys. We really, really Bye. appreciate it. Te Keko, como siempre, you el bitch. último en llegar, el primero en irse. Pero es okay, Jay. I mean, Keko. It's okay, Keko. It's best, supposedly best dress. See you at the middle. Supposedly best. Best, that's best dress.